Wolfpack Nation, we are back, baby, for part two of our NC State ACC Wrestling Tournament preview, baby, here again with Michael Machiavelli, 2019 National Champion. If you haven't checked out part one yet, make sure to go and do that first, and then come right back here as we continue this conversation here. Uh, but again, we basically left off here at 165, which, is, again, is another freshman, uh, you know, who's been very, very impressive, and Matt Singleton, uh, for sure, especially looking at uh, the rest of the ACC, where you have four guys ranked in the top 30. Uh, Matt Singleton is ranked number 26 right now. Uh, but, you know, again, Mike, you know, to me, it just goes back to, again, like we were saying in the first part, where just the the future of interstate wrestling is so, so bright. And I think with Matt Singleton, I mean, first of all, pulling off that huge, huge uh, overtime win over Connor Brady from Virginia Tech at Virginia Tech, I think says a lot about him. The fact that he's able in a tough environment uh, against a really good wrestler, who's a sophomore, so he has the experience that Matt Singleton doesn't to step up and make the make the plays when he needed to to get that win. I think was I thought was huge and really said a lot about you know what this guy could do uh, in terms of where his ceiling can go. Yeah, no, I agree. I think Maddie's Maddie and a lot of those guys in that freshman class are gamers, man. I think Wolfpack is going to see a lot of amazing things come out of that that freshman class that came in this past year and. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of them got a, a lot of great head on their shoulders. Um, they're focused and, and they want to be good, you know. And so if you don't yeah. see them now, I think there there's going to be some guys that you see later. And Maddie's one of the guys that we're lucky enough to see now. And I think he'll continue to improve also. But, yeah, he, he's shown a lot of really good upside. And I'm excited for him. Part of it is yeah. just the experience. And, you know, and, you know. That was, I think, the first half of the season. And, and even then, I, I think he's still learning, you know, just like everybody else is. So, mm -hmm. again, yeah. nothing but incredibly positive stuff to, to say and, and things that I've seen from Maddie so far. No, I absolutely agree with that for sure. And, and especially to, uh, you know, looking at, you know, what he's done even beforehand, like, you know, he didn't necessarily even start the whole season either. Uh, you know, they, uh, you know, Pat right. was, you know, cycling a couple other guys in to, you know, see what he had in them as well. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously lost, Look, uh, man, you know, close. You gotta go pay it. your, you gotta pay your dues, man. Hey, you gotta, you gotta prove dues. it. Yeah. You got to prove it. You, at the end of the day, you can be as talented as you want to be, but you got to show up when it counts and you got to get the results. And, you know, yeah. I think about this. I think people forget my combined record. My first two years of college was 24 wins and 27 losses. I love that you have that memorized, too. I love that. Dude, I mean, I was lower than 50-50. And so, you know, for the Wolfpack fans that kind of are a little – Yo, he's not blah, blah, blah. Patience, man, because mm -hmm. it's a grind. College wrestling is a whole different ball game, and people don't realize it. It it can depend on the day. It can depend on it, it can depend on a lot of things, and you got to be mm -hmm. you you got to have everything put together, you know, especially for when it comes to the postseason. But what, nonetheless, and, I think these guys are too, figuring like, it out. Like like even 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 in, in like see this is another thing which I love about wrestling is that you could literally be down. 15 to one and then just one mistake by that opponent and you oh, can pin him pin and him. instead of five minute five points that way you're getting six points your way like right like it just it, it's just one mistake it's just it's a crazy one game moment. crazy yeah. game man yeah like there's no other sport that's like that like think about no like sport. fighting almost you could be losing the fight the whole time but you make one mistake and you get knocked out the yeah. match is over and a pin is the equivalent right the match yeah. is over you yeah. get pinned it's done and so mm -hmm. That can happen at any moment in the match, and so I mean it's it's a crazy game, man. But that's part of yeah. what makes March for wrestling such a crazy event because you see some of the craziest stuff happen. Guys, you would never mm -hmm. think go down, go down. Guys that mm -hmm. you'd never think make it to the finals, make it to the finals. I mean it's it's nuts, man. Talk about March Madness. That tournament is madness. Well, and that's why, like you know, last year I remember we had on uh, uh, Fanco Wrestling, uh, and uh, you know. One of the things that was kind of the highlight where, you know, he was kind of raving, raving, saying, Trent Hadley is undefeated. Why doesn't he have the number one seed? And to me, I understand, you know, what he's saying, especially for me. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm always one to proponent saying, you know, an in-state guy should get more respect. But I'm sitting here going, I mean, whether he's one, two, three, four, whatever it is, it's going to be a tough, it's going to be a tough, you know, oh. row to get there no matter what. So I'm sitting here going, Absolutely. I mean, like, you know, what, like, uh, like you may say, well, he might have an easier, you know, road. I'm like, easy road. Like you're, you're going to take face guys that are going to be hungry, that are going to be really, really talented, really experienced. Like, so just bring it on. Whoever, you know, whoever's going to have you, Hey, that that's whoever you're going to have. That's, totally that, that's, that's why I look at it. So totally agree. 
So, um, so yeah, definitely, uh, you know, for, for me, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what Matt can do. And obviously, you know, bouncing back, you know, obviously, you know, lost a really close match against Pitt. Also um, true freshman. Also true freshman. I know. True freshman, but and then he came back against UNC and pulled off a great win over uh, Joe Joe Missouri from uh, from UNC, uh, seven to two decision. So uh, again, excited what this guy could do. So just hold on tight and let's see what happens here. Um, but one seventy four. So our guy phase on. Well, we can finally talk about him. You know, I, <laughs> I, 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 I feel like this guy. Man, does he have his work cut out for him at, uh, at the tournament this year? Obviously, facing Clay Lout and Makai Lewis, who uh, I know Hayden Hadley knows all too well for sure. And uh, and first thing which I do got to say too, I loved uh, watching the UNC match and watching. I think Hayden Hadley during Faison's match was the biggest cheerleader of of all time. I mean, like you could tell that it was personal for Hayden that even Faison pulls this off. Uh, you know, to get a win over Clay Lout. Uh, you know, did you kind of get that that vibe from him? Uh, you know, like yeah. I mean- so I, I I was watching it um on the TV, so I wasn't live at the event, yeah. so I didn't get to see all of it. So I didn't really get to catch that part. But that uh, that makes me smile, man. I love that. Yeah. No. Well, again, I mean, just again, even even before that match, all they were showing was freaking Clay Lout's pen against Hayden Hydeley. It's like, listen, oh, man, course. you didn't show the rest of that match where Hayden was dominating the whole time, but we're just like we said, he made one mistake, got a little too low, and Clay Lout made him pay for it. Like, you know, yeah. like it, it's... But I, I can guarantee you if, you, if you ask anybody, ain't nobody's going to take Clay Lout over Hayden Hydeley or even Mikai Lewis if, you, if they wrestle 10 times. It ain't going to happen. I, I'm taking Hayden or Mikai over Clay Lout every time, you know, so and just... Simple facts, but anyway. So talking about phase on here. So you know, I think for me, again, I, I think this is definitely in my head. Makai's to lose for sure. But I mean, again, I mean, phase on was very, very respectable when he faced uh, Makai Lewis, losing by uh, decision. Looking at it right here, uh, lost uh, eight to two. So you know, still a decision, not a major decision. But I mean. You know, what's your kind of thoughts in terms of what does Faison need to do, you know, to, to, to pull off the upset? Um, well, I think those guys are probably going to wrestle a different Faison than they did. Yeah. I mean, that, that was, that, that was going to be I over a month Ma- ago. I think Makai is going to see a different Faison than he did over a month ago, like you said. Yeah. I think, too, his confidence is the highest it's ever been, especially with a win like that. A dominant win, a very controlled mm-hmm. win over a two-time All-American. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you know, wins like that are breakthrough wins because you know, you're good. You compete in the room well. And, and, and then you go out and get these matches and, and you hope to get one of these breakthroughs wins. And, and a win like that is what I call a breakthrough win. He, he's finally broken through. And now he's, he, he should be giving himself permission to believe I'm mm-hmm. a problem. I'm a it. real problem, and uh, he should be very, very excited about the postseason. He should be very, very excited about what can what he can accomplish going into the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament. Because, uh, it, it, I mean, that it's just those are really, really exciting moments for guys that you see work their tail off day in and day out, and and pour their heart and soul into their craft. And and Faison's one of those guys. So, I, I think that. ultimately that that's a guy that people involved in the program should be really, really happy for and really, really excited for because coming from the state of North Carolina, you know, we're not the hotbed of wrestling like some of these other states where Mm -hmm. you're Pennsylvania or the Midwest or the Northeast. And so we kind of get slept on as a state. And that's one thing that used to carry me throughout my college career was just having a massive chip on my shoulder. And Faison is one of those guys that has a massive chip on his shoulder. And I'm so proud of him because he's, He's repping North Carolina incredibly well. And so um, it's just yeah. awesome to see see him finally break through with some big wins like that. And so I think Makai is going to see a different phase on. Um, mm-hmm. And I think uh, I'm, I'm just really excited about postseason for him. And Yeah. Well, especially because I, I think with phase on, you know, especially since this is his last uh, his last year, I think he's going to put it all on the line. So I think that if Makai Lewis wins, it's just going to be because Makai Lewis is better. Like, you know, like I think that's really what it's going to come down to for me. It's not, you know, it, it, it's it's going to be a heck of a match. Like, you know, I, I think it's going to be closer than the eight to two decision that you Absolutely. know they had last that they had, you know, a month ago. Um, and also too, that's on a neutral side, you know, well, shoot, not a home side. It's at a home site instead of right. at Virginia tech even as well. 
Um, but dude, it, it, you it, never know what can happen. I mean, Makai Lewis know. beat Vincenzo Joseph as a freshman in his college career. No mm-hmm. one saw that coming. Yeah, and that's the beauty of college wrestling. There's the there's opportunities for wins to happen that nobody's gonna see coming. And mm-hmm. uh yeah, I, I don't necessarily I'm not disagreeing with you, but yeah, I just think there's an incredible amount of upside. For sure. Oh, no doubt. And yeah, of I mean, course, it's, it's, of course, I'm biased. It's it's well it's it, it's I'm an alumni of the Wolfpack. You know what I mean? I, I wrestled and I, I see these right. guys work hard and I and I love these dudes, but it's like look, right. man. I, I, it's the truth, though. It's the truth. Well, it, it, once, I, I guess you know, really, kind of my point is that Faison, in my opinion, has nothing to lose. Like, like they're right. not expecting him to beat Makai Lewis. They're not right. expecting to beat Clay Lout but twice. That's in a row. the guy who's the most dangerous. Exactly. The he has guy who has nothing to lose is the guy mm-hmm. who's the most dangerous. I love it. Right? Love it. There's this. There's this, this. This book called The Art of War by Sun Tzu, yep. and he said it's it's not the warrior who fights to prevent death, who's the most dangerous. It's the warrior who has already accepted death, mm-hmm. who is the most I dangerous. And yep. I think what you just said, it you just said it right there is he's got nothing to lose. It's like he's already accepted it. And every single ounce of heart, soul, and fight that he has will get mm-hmm. left out there from now mm-hmm. until the end of March. And that's what is so exciting about being able to watch a guy like Alex Faison. I'm hype. I'm hype, man. You, you, you got me going, man. I love it. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, obviously too, I want to kind of end this too, give him major respect that he actually does have another year of eligibility if you want it. But he said plainly that, uh, you know, he's ready to move on and go, uh, you know, serve our country. So we thank him for that for sure. And uh, definitely give all respect to Alex for that as well. And I, I definitely see, him ending his career uh, at NC State and his college wrestling career on a high note for sure. Looking forward to seeing him on Sunday. Uh, now moving on to 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 the guy, the the raise the roof, the electric guitar <laughs> playing guy himself, yeah. uh, Trent Highley, man. Who I'm, oh man, like I I I love watching Trent Highley wrestle. Every NC State fan should just like like if if like you you can go get popcorn, you know, and your hot dogs and your drinks. <laughs> During, during some matches, but during Trent Hadley's match, you are doing yourself a disservice if you're not in your seat watching this match. And 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 honestly, I love it, the fact that I remember, I think it was, oh, man, which match was it? I think it was maybe Binghamton, maybe, uh, where he wrestled. And, and like, from the moment the, the referee started the match, he gave the Binghamton guy a big push, uh, you know, to kind of push him back. And I was like, you know, what did you do that for? Is that, is that like a strategic thing? He's like, he's like, just, 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 just sending a, sending a, sending a sign from, from the get go. And I'm like, Oh, I love that. That's so cool. I love that. You know, it's, yeah, it's not, you know, to, you know, for like a strategy that like he's trying to, you know, get him no, off balance just, to go get He's a, got a lot of edge and a lot yeah. of, a lot of F you, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, like as a competitor, yeah. he, 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 he's kind, he's a respectful young man and he's a, he's a yes. gentleman off the mat. But when he steps into that circle, he's a dog. We're not, we're not friends. No, nope, we're not nope. friends. <laughs> we're the and furthest thing and, from it. And don't try to be either because yeah. you, I'm not about to show you any respect. And I think that's part of what makes him such a great competitor is yeah. the edge that he competes with. And I think it's a it's a killer be killed thing for him. It's not yeah. a, just a competition. It really is a killer be killed thing. And he's, he's going out there trying to kill somebody. And uh, yeah. I think that's why people are get so excited to watch him compete because – he mm-hmm. is the guy who lays it all out there and and wrestles mm-hmm. hard the entire match. Yeah. Now, with Trent, uh, you know, w- you know, we can talk ACC for sure. But I mean, I think this is, I mean, you know, he is the favorite to get it, to win it all, and I and I I know that he expects nothing less than to go and, and win it all. And even if Hunter Bowen is number seven in the country and he's three, it, it, to him, it's you know, no, this is mine. I got to take care. Of. But the thing which I did want to talk about uh, with Trent was I feel like with Trent, it's a same conversation as you had with Hayden where with Hayden, he was a guy who was, you know, a, a two time national title, uh, you know, match, you know, finalist that, you know, ended up not winning. And uh, with Trent, same thing where he's a guy that's been nationally competitive. Now his entire career, he's sitting here junior with two years and I, I'm sitting going, man, this guy, I mean, he, he deserves to get that national championship, uh, you know, and have, have a banner up in the stands, man. But I know that there, there's just thing deserving and earning it. But to me, it's like, you know, man, I'm, I'm ready for him to go earn it. I'm ready for him to go get it done. Man, I think uh, I think this is his year, man. I really do. And uh, 
You know, yeah. I said that the year before also, but every year is that guy's year, man. Every year he, he does the work. Every year he makes the sacrifices. Every year he 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 doesn't cut himself short on, on what he should be doing. And every year he, he wrestles hard and with heart. And I think when you have someone like that who does that year in and year out, it's literally only a matter of time. Yep. Yep, exactly. It's only yeah. a matter of time. It doesn't matter if it wasn't last year, it was going to be this year. If it's not this year, it's going to be next year. Vice versa. It's only a matter of time. And I think his time is coming. And, and I think he knows that. And uh, he he's not the type of guy that's going to take it for granted. He's not the type of guy that's going to take it lightly. Yep. He's, he's not going to let the guy that's going to – he's not the type of guy that's going to let the opportunity slip through his fingers. When it's yep. there, he's going to be showing up. So before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsdressup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Well, and, and I actually love the fact, I actually do love the fact that he actually got pinned by the number two wrestler from Northern Iowa. Just because hey like man, what we were saying earlier, honest. it's like, keeps you well, honest. again, it, it, it just gives the possibility that Northern Iowa, if they faced again, that Northern Iowa wrestler going into it, maybe a little bit of a thought of, well, I pinned this guy before, like, you know, like just a little right. bit, like not necessarily right. saying he's going to go into it, but that thought could go through his head and that thought going through his head could be the death of him, you know, for the, for, you know, if they face again, you know, because you know, Trent's going to be thinking about that going, he ain't going to get me this time. Like, you know, oh, so for so, sure. Absolutely, yeah. man. I yeah. think it, it only makes you hungrier, you know, and exactly. And it, sometimes I think it's tough for guys that have had success right at the gate mm-hmm. and then fall short to, of the success maybe they had initially, you know, it goes yep. from being in the finals to not being in the finals and, yep. and whatever. But I think realistically, it's not about the end result. It's about the ultimate goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you fell short two inches or if you fell short two feet. Mm-hmm. It's all the same, and it's all about the ultimate goal, right? And so – Every time you fall short, let's say I'm, you know, you ever seen like the America's Ninja Warrior where mm-hmm. they're running yep. up that that wall and they got to grab the thing. Yep. The first time they run up, they might touch the top and their fingers might slip down. The next one, they might fall a little bit short, but it doesn't matter. You run up that ramp as many times as you need to until you catch it and you pull yourself up. And I think that's exactly what this type of situation is. He's so relentless. It doesn't matter how many times he needs to run up that ramp. It doesn't matter if he touches it and it slips off just his fingers or if he's two mm-hmm. feet underneath he's going to keep running up that ramp as many times as he needs to until he catches himself and pulls himself up over the top and i think uh that's why i'm really really excited for him well and again just i i think really for 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 trent too it's not only just for trent it's for it's for hayden even too you know i mean hayden yep. just like you said just unfortunately just ran out of opportunities to run up the to run up ladder but i guarantee you that i mean if, if he was still wrestling even this year i mean he'd be taking mikhail lou Lewis and and all the top dogs you know for uh, giving them a run for their money for sure um Absolutely. so i mean you, you know so i i I'm, I'm telling you for any nc state wrestling fan a trend high the national championship would mean so much so so much a it'd lot, be huge lot. so um, you just just can't give up man that's it exactly and and exactly. uh he he's not gonna give up that that kid's no. got nothing but fight in him Absolutely. So, and, and moving on to another guy, which uh, believe it or not is only a sophomore, and it blows my mind about that every single day. But Isaac Trumbull, <laughs> the guy that yeah. I mean, I feel like he's been here forever, but he's only a sophomore, and so I yeah. mean, he's still got so much. But this guy, oh man, like he's a guy that I love. Like as a person, he's one of the coolest guys, and uh, but awesome. he's a guy that that like he will get pinned. Or pin the guy like that. That's right. just kind of my thing. It's just the consistency is just, yeah. oh, it's so frustrating. Now, now the one thing which I did want to ask. So, did you watch the his match against Pitt against Nino Barnacasi from Pitt? Did you watch that match? I did. I was mad side for that match. Did you think that was uh, an illegal slam? Uh, I mean, it's funny because in freestyle we have a similar position where 
we have this head pinch where if someone takes a shot, we square up our hips, we walk, we lock up the same type of lock around the chest, yep. and we thrust our hips in and we throw them back over. Okay. Well, sometimes if you feel like you don't have that ability, you thrust your hips in, and what your opponent do is they start to go flat. Yep. And what you do yep. is you release, you drop everything, and you run corner. So okay. you almost fake the head pinch like you're going to take them all the way through. Right. And so they react as if they're getting ready to go through, and then yep. you drop and release. Mm. Okay. And so okay. to me, that's exactly what that looked like. Now, maybe y- y- you can argue that he was doing it on purpose or he's aggressive, but I've done that to guys in the room where <laughs> I'm trying to throw threat and head pinch, and I release – and I'm running corner, and and some and most of the time it doesn't look as bad. Maybe it does. I don't know. There's not a camera on me, but that one probably just happened to look a little worse than normal. But that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't. I don't think it was anything that was like. Let me try and deliberately cause harm to my opponent. I pedigree, think, this guy. Yeah, triple yeah, A pedigree, this yeah, guy. You know, like WWE. Yeah. I think it was more so like, yo, I got to win this match. This guy's got a really, really good lock. I got to threaten head pinch release and look to run corner. That's, that's the only way I'm going to get this lock to, to break. And so, I mean, I, like I don't know exactly. I haven't even talked to him about it because yeah, there's nothing to talk about. It is what it is. Yeah. It, it was just move on and move forward. It, it was, just, it was just a tough situation, which unfortunately for Trumbull, just like you were saying, whether he did it or didn't do it was, was a right. no in situation in my opinion. So and and he's, I, a, I, he's a really good dude. He's the type of guy that's oh, yeah. trying to, tries to not cuss and he he wakes up and oh, does everything dude, right and this this guy has like an old school army song as his intro song i mean if that doesn't <laughs> tell you enough about this guy's character he's, i don't know what he's, does he's a good guy and respect to bonacorski too you know from the tweet that i saw I yes mean, awesome, huge respect uh, huge respect and so uh, i like the way that situation ended you know not necessarily how it started it's just unfortunate sometimes that athletes will get slack for competing but um, yeah, yeah. I like no, the way both. I like the way both those guys handled that. So, well, especially because Espe- especially sure, Bonikorski. Yeah, I'm sure any person who who uh, was given Isaac you know crap for it. First of all, it was a couple. It was maybe a foot drop. I mean, you know, it's not like it's not like he like had him like on top of his shoulders and like body slammed him. Like you know, he dropped a foot down. So you know, it wasn't like life threatening. But also to part two, just like you said, anybody who talked to any wrestler who knows what they're talking about. Which probably just said exactly what you said, saying, "Listen, he wasn't trying to like heart the guy. He was just in a no-win situation that he was trying to play defensive." So, you yeah. know, complete respect there. Um, so, yeah, again, for me, I think you know, just like you said, Isaac Trumbull and Bonacorsi are definitely going to be the two guys, uh, you know, that I think are going to compete. Uh, they're they're going to be one and two seeds. So, I mean, they're going to be the guys more likely facing in the AC Championship match. And just like it was, uh, you know, when they faced them at Reynolds, it's going to be another great one again. And uh, funny enough, I, I actually love it that these two guys, once again, are going to face each other again in Rails Coliseum, not even a month later. I yeah. actually love that. I think that's kind of sick. So, yeah. yeah. So nah, It'll be good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for Isaac, man. He, he's an all-American caliber kind of guy. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. Now, it, now, it'll be, it'll be exciting to, to see him kind of yeah. hit his stride and, and, and put himself in a position to accomplish what he wants to accomplish because he's yep. absolutely 100% capable of doing whatever he wants. And and especially, too, because Bonnie Corsi is a senior. Yeah. And because Bonnie Corsi is a senior, Isaac Trumbull is a sophomore. Right. So, you know, that's what I'm thinking of as well. Is once again, Bonnie Corsi, he's saying, this is my last shot. You know, this is this is it. And so, Trumbull, you know, Trumbull's got wins over Bonnie Corsi, too. You know, yeah. these guys have gone back and forth. So, yeah, it, it's going to be a great one. I'm excited for it. It's quite the style matchup, too. Yeah, no, they're very similar. Very, very similar for sure. Um, so now I want to move on to my guy that I'm telling you, I have been so elub- exuberated by this guy. The fact that he has finally, that we have finally gotten, I think, what in-state wrestling has needed. Not any kind of shot whatsoever towards, you know, the, the previous guys, you know, between Gwiz and now with, you know, Malik McDonald and all these guys. But just, I feel like that in today's day, first of all, to prove my point, Owen Trifon has been dominant this year, has been super impressive, but yet he's still not even in the top 10. Like, like to me, I feel like that just goes to show how deep the heavyweight division is in, in college wrestling these days. Yeah. And so if you're going to get a top four, a top five finish in NCAA, you have to have a guy who is competitive nationally. You have to have yeah. it, you know? Yeah. And, and now we finally have that guy. And again, this guy's only a sophomore. Yeah. Like he, again, so young. 
So, yeah, dude, he's uh, <laughs> you know, he's actually roommates with Isaac. Him and Dylan Renner and uh, Isaac, it. they all room together. Those guys definitely challenge each other to be better, which is great. And I think too, mm-hmm. um, a big thing for Owen, I think, was confidence and having some edge. And the biggest difference that I noticed from this year to last year is his confidence. Mm-hmm. That dude yeah. has edge to him also. You know, I, I like to mess around with him in the room and talk trash to him like, hey, man, excited to put it on you today and, you know, put some points up on you and live go. And he's, he's like, yeah, what are you dreaming? He's like, I'm a, you know, he'll, like, he'll, he'll talk trash right back. And he won't take it. Right. He'll come and he'll scrap as hard mm-hmm. as he possibly can. And, and, and that's kind of what, what we've been waiting for, you know, to see out of Owen is for him to really come into his own and start mm-hmm. to really believe in his abilities because he, he's had great ability. Um, mm-hmm. He's always been quite the athlete. You know, he played football also for heavyweight. He moves well. Yeah. And so I think what you see with Owen is if you're a fan trying to understand what you see is a guy whose confidence Mm -hmm. is starting to fall in line and match his wrestling ability. Right. And when that starts Mm -hmm. to happen, it's a very dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, especially too with Owen, I think that, you know, one thing which I've definitely noticed, not only just with Owen, but across NCAA wrestling generally recently, is I feel like there's been kind of a change in the prototypical heavyweight wrestler over the last couple of years. I mean, it's really gone from being these guys which are larger, you know, to being guys which are just as quick as your eight one eighty four one one ninety seven guy. I mean, you know, they're I mean, it, they're they're you know used to be. I feel like you know a lot of matches would be kind of like a three one you know, finish basically with like a, an escape at the, at the you know beginning of the second, third period. And then, you know, you know, a late takedown or overtime takedown to kind of win it all. But now, I mean, again, I mean, these guys are, they're quick. I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're strong. They're not, you know, necessarily, you know, larger. And so I, I think with Owen the thing, which I love is it kind of fits exactly what you're seeing, you know, like what you saw with uh, the wrestler from Minnesota last year. I mean, that, I mean, that, that guy was, a phenomenon, you know, to say the least for sure. But uh, I think that, you know, what we have in Owen Trafon, which is funny on this uh, uh, sheet I'm looking at right here, actually lists him as a senior, but he's not a senior. He's a sophomore. Uh, yeah. You know, it's it's exciting to say the least again, you know, again, to finally have a guy, which I think is not necessarily a, a Gwizdowski. I mean, a Gwizdowski I mean, is a two-time national champion, almost three-time, three-time national champion. Three-time finalist, yeah. You know, three-time Two-time finalist. Two-time world uh, bronze medalist. I mean, so, but not to say that that Owen's going to be him, but he's a guy that could be competitive at a national level. And if we're going to get a top five finish skin, we have to have that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been super proud of Owen. I mean, I've been proud of all the guys just to see how they started the year and where they're at now. Yeah. There's, there's so much to be proud of um, as a peer, yeah. as a, as a training partner, as a mentor, as a as a as a competitor, as a fan, as a coach, I mean, it's across the board. There's a lot to be proud of when you look at the program from the beginning of the year to where it's at now. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think Owen's just done a really good job. I've seen too a lot of maturity from him, his his uh, from him as well. That's one of the biggest things that I've noticed too. You know, he's he's asking the right questions. And when you give him the answers, they're not just going in one year out the other. He's taking the wisdom and he's applying it. And that's one mm-hmm. of the biggest things that I've noticed maturity wise from yeah. him compared to years past. He's applying the knowledge that you give him. And I think right. too, that's super important for any mm-hmm. wrestler, you know, so Absolutely. if you're a wrestler out there listening and yeah. when you're asking questions, just make sure that it's not just going in one year out there. Make sure you're you're applying what what you've learned and putting it to use because it will make yeah. a difference. And I think for sure you're starting to see that with Owen. Yeah. No. And again, you know, definitely, you know, couldn't be more excited. And the biggest thing, which honestly stands out, is that he's five and zero oh in ranked matchups. I think to me that's <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's 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 a, that's Dude, a, that's looked, awesome stat right he there. He looked lights out at UNC. Well, and the thing which I love is is the pit match is that you know the pit when match was, he looks phenomenal too. Well, and, and and honestly, the biggest thing which I and, and thing which I love the most is that you know when they had that close uh, takedown, you know that would have sealed it, uh, and you know the, the and they didn't give it to him, and then Pat ruled it, and, and you know all the you know fans were booing when they you know 
when they stand, you know, with the with the call on the on the mat. And he was like, you know, come on, like, you know, it's all good. We got this. I got this. I got this handled, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the noise yeah. up. Like, I loved that. You know, yeah. the, the, again, just like you said, the confidence, man. The confidence on this guy is unreal. Like the fact Dude, that he was like, hey, y'all, we don't need that takedown. I'm gonna get another one. It's gonna be all good. And what he do? He got the takedown. It, and he got handled like I'm... it's it's everything man confidence is everything in this game and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you want to be the best you got to have it yeah well especially if he's going to compete in the heavyweight for sure he's got to have the confidence because he's uh he's got quite a road but hey he's gonna he got he's got three uh ncaa tournaments uh to make it happen if he wants all three so yeah. excited to see what what he's got there but Anyway, so again, Mike, first of all, I want to say thank you, man, for, for taking time to go through all this with me, man. I know this was uh, definitely a little, you know, a little bit long, but again, man, just, just so much to talk about, man. Again, just like you yeah. said, this, the, 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 this weekend is going to be so great for in-state wrestling. The rest of this year is going to be great. And the future is going to be so great for in-state wrestling. And, and, and we're all here for it, man. And uh, definitely it's cool to know that you're going to be doing some play by play for sure. And I do want to kind of ask you, you know, I mean, like, is it, do they kind of give you a talk per se in terms of like, you know, cause I'm sure they give the same thing to Hayden too, being like, you know, you got to, you know, not be biased. You know, you got to call up, you know, you got to call it both ways. If it was a great, if it was a great pen, you know, by the pit guy, or by the UNC guy, you got to, you know, say, yeah. Hey, great pet, great, great pen. Yeah. So I actually asked, cause they didn't necessarily say that up front, but I asked, I was like, Hey, do you want us to make sure we're as neutral as possible and not be biased? And they're like, yes. I'm like, Sure. All right. And it's difficult, right? You know, I'll right. catch myself, you know, talking up our guys, you know, when I did our first match against, I commentated my first match against the Army West Point. And mm. I was like, oh, man, that was awesome. And then I'm like, I think I've only been talking about NC State guys. And the Army <laughs> guy's doing a really good job here, you know, building up. If you, <laughs> if you notice what he's doing, he's got his elbow back. And so, yeah. you know, I think it's more of just like making sure you're cognizant and keeping it at the forefront of your mind. But they do want us to be. Sure. Um, as unbiased as possible, but you know me, sure. I'm going to I'm a ride for my wolf pack every time. So I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. Y'all. So again, make sure again, Sunday, this Sunday, all day affair, again, tickets are only like 20 bucks per se, show up early, stay the whole time and just buckle up your seatbelts. It's going to be a doozy. It's going to be, be awesome. a fun one. So, uh, Fans make sure you're going to have a blast. If, if yes. you haven't been to the ACC tournament before, you guys will have an awesome experience. So it, it just kind of touch on it again because I mean I I honestly love it the fact that you literally have two matches going on at the same exact time. So so literally you know you're maybe watching one and you'll hear a cheer and you're sitting there going the guys are neutral like you know what's what's and then you're like oh like shoot like you know look dudes dudes in, you know dudes in near yeah. fall like you know it's it's it, it it's great stuff the whole time and, and the finals is a spectacle man the finals is such an awesome event to watch part of the event to watch because mm-hmm. it's going to be good matchups up and down across the board mm-hmm. just fireworks you probably know, top so. 10 top 15 matchups across the board if it across goes that the way board. and and mm-hmm. it's just good wrestling and it's competitive and mm-hmm. it all affects the team race and you know it's it's just fun man it's a fun yep, environment and and, and, and you'll see vt guys cheering for pit wrestlers when they're going against us you'll see nc state right. guys cheering for whoever like but you know it, it's it's a fun one y'all so make sure to be there and you will not regret i promise you that but again i appreciate your time man. thank you so much again man looking forward to seeing you on sunday man it'll be a fun one yeah likewise man appreciate you having me and appreciate all the coverage you do for nc state wrestling man so absolutely we're, man we're no thankful, man absolutely man it's 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 our pleasure man really and uh you know i love it that you know even one of our own greg leg you know he came into this <laughs> toughy talk thing not even knowing anything about college wrestling but we got him you know as big of a wrestling fan as anybody else you know i love to see that for sure um so but again y'all if, if you haven't already again hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new toughy talk content any of our watch parties any of our live streams you name it you won't miss out any of it and that's free to do. So again, it, it's 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 it doesn't cost you anything. It's free to do. So make sure to go and do that. And if you're excited about state wrestling, do us a big favor, hit that like button, and also too, make sure to give us a follow Tuffy Talk now on Twitter, Instagram. We'll see y'all on Sunday. As always, go pack, y'all. <laughs>